I'm Winnie. Do you want to guess what am I? Do I look like someone who is very familiar to you? Hmm, here's a hint. Ta-da! What is this? This is a camera. I love using this camera. So what am I? I am a photographer. That's right. A photographer love using her camera to take lots of photos. Okay? So now, let me take a very nice photo of you, okay? So can you smile for me and say cheese? Say cheese! That's right, I love those smiles. Now, I've been to many places to take photos, okay? So let me show you some of my favorite photos. Here are my photos. The first one, ta-da! This is me by the beach, loving the sand. And the second one, ta-da! Well, I love this photo because of the sunset. Isn't this beautiful? And the third one, ta-da! This is me enjoying all of my favorite food. This is why I love taking photos because it captures all my good memories. Today, I am on a very special mission. Don't tell anyone, okay? I want to find out what God is like. Have you seen God before? I have not seen God before. That's why I'm going to use my favorite camera. I'm going to take lots of photos at many places so that I can find out what God is like in all of my photos. All right, come with me to this mission and we can explore together. Let's go. Oh wait, it's that way. Uh, uh, I'm back. I'm back, kids. I'm very tired. Whew. I've been to many places and I enjoyed myself. I took lots of photos too. Ah, whew, it's hard here. Okay, let me show you some of my photos and then you can tell me if God is like this, okay? Ta-da! This is my first photo. a tiny superhero like him? Is he like that? Are you sure? I don't think so. Hmm. Hmm. How can we ever find out what God is like? about what God said. Did he say that he's like a tiny superhero like him? No, God did not say that. But what did he say instead? He said that he is a mighty God, not a tiny superhero like him. How mighty is God? Is he this mighty? Now, is he this mighty? Nope. 
Ooh, how about, is he this mighty? No. How about this mighty? Yes, he is so mighty that he is a very mighty, mighty God. So now we know that God is a mighty, mighty God. How about my second photo? Ta! It's God like Santa Claus. Does he give us presents all the time? Is God like this? Hmm. 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 Can we find out what God is like? Oh, remember? It's about what God said. So, did God say that he is like a Santa Claus? I don't think so. Nope. God said that he is a H-O-L-Y. A holy God. Yep, not a Santa Claus, but a holy God. Now, would the Holy God be happy if we do not want to obey his words? He will be angry at us because we do not want to listen to him. So, the Holy God wants us all to obey his words. He is so holy that nothing in this world can show us how holy God is. What about God's people, the Israelites? What is God like to them? I know God is like this to them. They think that God is like a golden cow. It is an animal statue. Do you know what a statue is? Can a statue breathe? Nope. Can a statue move? Nope. Can a statue talk? No. So what can a statue do? Well, kids, a statue can't do anything. Yeah, it's pretty sad. A statue can't move, can't talk, can't breathe. It's just like this. So what can a statue do then? Nothing. That's because a statue has no life. But the statue that the Israelite created is a golden cow. You know, the golden cow is made out of really shiny gold. It's very expensive and precious, you know? Why do the Israelites think that God is like a golden cow? <gasps> I know. That is because they can't see God. That's why they created a golden cow so that they can see and they can touch God. So kids, the golden cow, it's not God. 
Nothing in this world can show how mighty and how big God is. Okay? Okay, kids, today we learn two things. First, we cannot guess what God is like. Nah. -uh. Second, we learn that we can only know God when He tells us what He's like in the Bible. Okay? And you know what? God told us that we can know Him through Jesus. Yes, Jesus showed us what God is like. Not only that, but Jesus also shows us that God is a H-O-L-Y, holy God. Jesus never once disobeyed God. Jesus has always listened to God's word. So do you want to thank God for Jesus? Let's do that. Now let us all thank God in our prayer. Let's close our eyes and pray to God now. Dear God, thank you for your son, Jesus. That he has showed us what you're like. We can never ever guess what you are like. There's nothing in this world can ever show us how mighty and holy you are. Only Jesus can show us who you are. So help us, Lord, to trust in Jesus and listen to what you have to say to us in the Bible. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, kids. That's all from me. Bye-bye.